Well, I don't know. I feel like I should tell some of the stories of some of the things that I've been through. And uh, I'm not sure if I should make separate videos for different occurrences or if I should just try to go on and start tell talking about a lot of things. One thing um, that was a pretty big deal for me back in 2014. Uh, it's, from what I recall, it was, I think it started maybe around 11 or something like that. I had been watching these uh, sort of Christian movies. I watched, I'm trying to get it like chronologically correct. I watched um, a movie called Heaven is for Real about Colton Burpo uh, having some experience, or near death experience, where he saw Jesus and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, and he talked, started talking, he's a kid, he started talking about heaven, and then at the end of the movie, they mentioned this girl named Akiana Kramerich, who's like a painter now, and she was this little girl that she had visions of heaven and things like that, and she has all these, I don't know, has all these visions come to her, and so she has like a painting of Jesus and all these other things, right? But, okay, I get, anyways, so, I, I see that at the, at the end of the movie, they talk about her, and I start looking it up to look at the paintings, you know, because I was curious, and, and then I come on one that, I swear to God, it's, it was like a painting of my face from a very specific moment back in, like, my early 20s. It was when I was living in this, uh, I was living in a 30 foot camp trailer. And I know, I even know exactly where I was standing. I was standing in the bathroom in front of the mirror. I remember that exact moment. I know. Anyways, um, what I'm getting at here is, um, it turns out Akiana Kramerick had painted a picture of my face at that exact moment. The painting is called Filtering Self-Awareness. Yep. <laughs> Shit you not, dude. I know damn well that's my face. I, it even has, like... It was, like, winter time, and... I had... Uh, I'd been blowing my nose a lot. I had a cold, and... And I think I'd probably been picking at my nose or something, trying to pop a zit or something, and I had my nose was all red, and... And, uh... Like, it's, it's very detailed, exactly, exactly how I basically looked right then, and, it, and it's, that was one moment when I started to wake up, and I realized that I wasn't, I realized the me, basically, that was beyond the physical, the physical, basically, at, at that moment. A anyhow, okay, so... On to, it was like June 30th, 30th, whatever. Uh, no, July. I'm sorry. The end, it was the end of July, uh, and it don't, went into August 1st. You can even look up, look this up uh, if you want to. There was this lightning storm. And I'll tell you the circumstances of the lightning storm. I was watching. I, I started watching, and this was after the after I found out about my, you know, painting or whatever. I found out that. Um, I was watching, after that movie, I watched a movie called God's Not Dead. It's got Kevin Sorbo in it as like a professor trying to prove that God is, say that God is dead and some kid has a, anyways. So, toward the end of this thing, I start praying. It's like, oh, everybody pray or whatever. And I start, you know, oh, God is not dead. Praying and praying and whatever, you know, right? And praying for a sign, for something to, to know that, you know, He's there, oh, whatever. Right at that moment, literally like on time, like exact timing with the prayer. I see, start seeing the flash outside my window, and the lightning had started then, and it went on all night long. It was just this more lightning than I've ever seen in my life, but it. It was just completely silent with no thunder. And it didn't really pour down rain. It was just kind of 
lightly misting and sprinkling and stuff. With just lightning jumping all over the sky. And I come to find out when I look it up later that lightning storm happened that night that was like essentially almost all over the entire earth basically it sounded like uh, a bunch of wildfires were started in areas wait it was like basically a worldwide lightning storm that seemed to happen in response to my prayer basically that's just one instance you know that's just one instance of a supernatural occurrence something that totally intense that's happened i've had times where i prayed or I said something to God or, you know, oh, prove it, prove you exist and see a freaking lightning strike in front of me. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. Um, I've had times, let's see, all right, that's, that's one thing that happened, right? I don't know if I should just keep going on and start mentioning other things that have happened. Okay, okay, here's another one. Um, and I wish to hell that I could find out that I could... I've tried looking it up. I wish I would have remembered and, and like, saved a link or a picture or took a video or something about... Uh, there was this plane crash, right? In um, somewhere in Texas. Some, I don't know, some guy with a private jet. He was flying himself and he crashed. He, uh... I had this dream where I, like a vision, but it was a dream, and I was, um, it started out, I was like behind this guy, and I was watching him sitting in the pilot seat, he's flying, and I'm standing behind his back, and he's, I don't know, something was going wrong with his instrument panel, and then one of his, uh, levers like got stuck and he couldn't move it I think it was for the flaps and uh so he started freaking out and it's like hey or something and then the next thing I know I'm seeing through his eyes and I'm it's like I'm in his in his body sharing consciousness with him it's like during that time in the dream I knew everything he knew I knew how to fly the plane how to fix it I knew everything that he knew basically at the time just temporarily at that time and I start trying to fix the plane right and doing everything checking the instruments checking everything messing with the lever trying to fix it you know he's still in there with me though you know it's not like it took over his body. It's like we're both in there at the same time. And the guy's like screaming, God help, please, God help. It's a, anyways, what happens is like the flaps seem to freeze up or something. And the lever wouldn't work and nothing they tried to, to get it to work would fix it. And the plane sort of turned slowly until it was upside down. It's kind of over the ocean. I thought it was going to go into the ocean. I, when I woke up, I was, um, I freaked. <sighs> Anyways, the guy's screaming really at the top of his lungs, please, God, help me. And I, that's about when I woke up, and I knew it was so intense. My heart was racing, was pounding when I woke up. I was terrified because I could feel everything that he felt and his thoughts and his feelings and just terrified you know and I woke up like that just kind of whew, took a while to calm down and then I knew it was real because I'd had kind of psychic visions and stuff before so I told my mom about it and I told her just you know to look look out on the TV and let me know if she sees anything she says, what channel? I said, any channel. And then uh, it was about, I don't know, 45 minutes or so, maybe an hour later, The every single channel got interrupted by, uh, you know, breaking news. And it showed this 
plane crash in Texas. This guy's private jet had crashed, landed uh, upside down on the runway at the airport, which surprised me. I thought it was going to end up in the ocean, but he made it to the airport upside down. Um, guy died. I wish I could remember exactly like a way to like actually link you to the to the story, but I'm sure you probably saw it on the news years ago, but that's just another story of something kind of crazy supernatural that happened to me. And that's not the only thing. We're talking, we're talking about God, stuff like that. I had another instance where um, this is going to be kind of hard to explain. Um, especially because I don't remember the exact context of the message. It was um, it was for the most part, it was less like a, well, he showed me some things from the future and stuff like that, which have come to pass, but it also it was like, a, it basically it was like, hi, I'm God kind of thing, you know, <laughs> for the most part. Um, I don't even remember what the heck I was watching. I know that out in the living room, my sister was over there and they were all watching, um, was that movie Underworld, you know, with the vampires and the werewolves and stuff? They were out sitting on the couch in the living room watching that. I don't even remember what I was watching. I think I was, I don't know, playing a VHS movie or something. And all of a sudden, the, the thing stops and the VCR shuts off. And so I grab the remote and I'm trying to turn the VCR back on, I tried anything, changed the channel, trying to do anything, and it's like the remote, nothing would respond to the remote, and then the TV just started changing channels by itself, and every single channel had some movie or TV show with like a God character, basically some kind of biblical thing, and I'm talking like there were movies, like old black and white movies I'd never seen before in my life showing up, and I mean, you had, uh, you know, Bruce Almighty, Evan Almighty, uh, Ten Commandments, you know, with Moses and everything, and the burning bush talking, and scenes with, you know, Morgan Freeman as God from Bruce Almighty and Evan Almighty, you know. It was jumping around from one scene to another, and it was basically like, um, you know, the channel would change, and it'd be, say, Morgan Freeman as God saying, like, part of a sentence or something. And then it would change channel to the burning bush, and then that would be like another part of a sentence. And then, uh, you know, say Bruce Almighty over here, and, and you know, there's another part of the sentence, and just on and on and on. Basically, it was like he was just introducing himself and letting you know he was there kind of thing. But that, and that, that is impressive and, and like, whoa kind of thing, super intense enough by itself because I couldn't change the channel, I couldn't shut it off, I couldn't do anything. I even tried getting up and and trying to change the thing and turn the VCR on like manually without the remote and nothing worked. And it just took total control of the TV. And then when that was over, I walked out to the living room because I was wondering if like, did they see that too? Or was it just me? Like, did everybody see that? Or was that just me, you know? And I go out in the living room. And they're sitting there watching Bruce Almighty. As though nothing had ever happened. And they were, they were like I said, they were in the middle of watching. I just be, I'd just been out there right before that. They were in the middle of watching Underworld. You know, vampires and werewolves. And then all of a sudden... They're watching Bruce Almighty and they didn't even notice that anything happened, that anything changed. God, I wanted to I wanted to keep the damn TV guide. I wanted to keep the TV guide from that bait that day so fucking bad. But he didn't want me to keep it. I don't know. Like he didn't want me to I don't know, he didn't want me to have the Basically, he essentially let me know that he didn't want me to keep it and that if he wanted to, he could just change it or make it disappear anyways, you know, <laughs> so, I, so I didn't keep the TV guide, but I looked at the TV guide 
after that happened and it turned out that like changed the television programming for the entire day so that every single sh movie and TV show on TV the entire day was something with like a guide character in it or some biblical thing you know every single one there's all kinds of like old movies from like the 30s and 40s and 50s and stuff black and white stuff like all kinds of stuff that I'd never even heard of or seen before and it was just that was the entire television programming for the whole day had been changed like supernaturally changed and I I'm the only fucking one that even noticed that it happened people didn't even notice that anything had changed it was as though nothing had changed, but I, I knew it changed. But, like, nobody else said a word. Nobody else even noticed. It was, like, just, just another day. You know, like, they took the download kind of thing. <laughs> that's just, a, that's another example of something weird, supernatural sort of stuff happening to me. I, uh... God, what else? There's a bunch of stuff. A bunch of stuff, man. I've, I've had, I don't even know what to say, um, maybe I'll come back and tell about more stuff later, or if I should just, uh, try to go on now, I don't know, um, let's see, well, okay, how about, like, uh, when uh, when my mom was in the hospital dying my sister's boyfriend was kind of tormenting me and basically seemed like he was basically like demon possessed or something or a psychotic narcissist or something but nobody seemed to notice and I, I would get out of there and leave the house and I'd go to this park and I'd go walk around on these trails and kind of hike around and just to get out in nature and get away from there, you know, so I didn't have to deal with him. But that day, I remember when I first woke up that day, I, uh, I opened up the curtains and window to look out the window and I looked up and there's these two doves in a tree that f took off and flew off right as I looked out the window. It was the first thing I saw in the morning before I went to the park. And then I went to the park to go walk around the park all day just to get out of the house to get away from him. And um, I get to the park and uh, it's all this targeted individual kind of stuff going on. Um, I get there, you know, the park was practiced hardly anyone at the park when I get there but as soon as I get there like you know hundreds of freaking cars come in one after another and I get surrounded by a bunch of these brand new looking you know expensive looking cars and people just surrounding me people following me stuff like that you know just it, it happened like almost instantly and I was just kind of like you know nervous kind of laugh nervously about it just kind of act like act like it's not happening you know I walk up onto the trails from the parking lot and uh, I just start walking down the trail and kind of thinking <laughs> it figures you know and uh, I'm walking along kind of praying about stuff thinking God when is anything gonna get better you know I'm sick of this I was thinking that at the time and, and then sound like some kind of ice cream truck or something came in pulled into the park and I could hear it up on the trail and it was playing this like creepy circus music sound like some kind of circus horror like like a horror horror movie music or something like creepy circus carnival type music you know and I was thinking I sort of laughed like oh nice touch you know kind of like giving a compliment to the matrix controllers or something about you know how that was like a nice touch you know the creepy circus music in addition to everything else, you know. And I just sort of laughed it, laughed it off. And when that happened, right then the music changed. And it started playing 
when the saints go marching in, oh, when the saints go marching in, wouldn't you like to be in that number when the saints go marching in, you know? <laughs> and I'm like, kind of laughing at that. And I start, I'm walking down this trail, and I go past this, like, turn off this to this other trail, and there's a buck, like, you know, a deer, just standing there about, I don't know, 25, 30 feet, probably about 25 feet away, I'd say. Just standing there on the trail, he looks at me, and he started to walk towards me for a minute, but then he, like, sort of turned and slowly walked away. <laughs> that was pretty cool. I thought he was going to walk right up to me, look like he was for a minute. <laughs> And then, uh, anyway, so I take out, I, I kept walking a little ways further, and then I see an, a, another dove on the trail up ahead of me, just sitting there, and I walk right past him, he didn't even hardly take notice, and, uh, you know, that was kind of how that went that day, and I had so much target individual stuff, like, I mean, all of a sudden there were construction on every road I tried to go down to get anywhere and, and uh, when I was when I had to when I tried to buy a car like I this is during the time oh no actually that's after my mom was gone come to think of it uh, we were starting to get ready to move out and I had to be loading my stuff up into a storage unit and he was going to sell the place and I was going to end up with some money. And when, when that was happening, I had, like, just everything went crazy. I was getting followed everywhere. I had, there was, like, traffic jams every single road I tried to go down. There'd be, like, a semi-truck or a truck just parked in the middle of the fucking road. I'd have to go around them. And I'd, uh, you know, construction zones on every fucking street. And <laughs> just took forever to get anywhere because you'd have to get around all these roadblocks and things everywhere and then when I actually ended up getting any money it was like um, I went to go buy a car uh, the car that I was gonna buy got sold out from under me like right before right as I before I got the money and I ended up having to buy the just basically buy this other car because everything else I tried to buy I couldn't even get a hold of anyone so I bought this car that was like down the road from where I lived and uh, when it came time to pay the guy, I go to the bank to get the money, and the bank's closed, and the ATM's limiting how much money I could take out. And this happened, like, numerous times. I'm talking like the bank just suddenly closed for no, oh, it's a new holiday, or it didn't even exist before, for one thing, and then there, and then it, that was when we was trying to get the money, but this time it closed for seemingly no reason. And it took me like three or four days going back to the ATM to get enough and, and stopping into Walmart and stuff before I could get enough money to go back and buy the car, to pay for the car. And then when I got the car, I drove to the DMV to go change the title and registration and all that. And the DMV was closed. And I call around and find out the DMV and like, you know, three or four towns surrounding me were all closed. They just shut down the DMV. And I had to go, like, numerous towns over just to get to a DMV to register the car and stuff. And, uh, the insurance and everything. And that was kind of a pain in the butt. And I mean, when I, like, before I got the money, I was seeing all kinds of places. And, and even sometimes when I had the money, I was I was seeing, like, oh, there's a mobile home here for 5000 There's another mobile home here for 6000 This one's 8000 There's one for 10000 and I had the money, I'd call up the places one after another trying to buy them. And people just wouldn't even respond to me. I can't, couldn't get anyone on the phone. I tried applying for numerous apartments with proof that I had like almost $50,000 in the bank. And nobody would approve my application. So I just ended up staying in motels. And I even tried buying a, a couple of camp trailers and... and uh, I tried to call the people up, nobody answered the phone, tried to text them, tried to email them. Nobody responds. Like, that's that's the kind of shit that I've been through just this year. And, uh, 
Let's see what else. Um, oh. Do you want to talk about crazy supernatural stuff that's happened? Now, let me think here. A lot more stuff than that, you know. I mean, this... It, it gets it gets kind of jumbled up because it's like an almost all the time sort of a thing. I've had helicopters. I, I know it sounds fucking batshit stuff, but I don't know if, you know, some of you people might have been through some of this kind of stuff. One time I was up in uh, my dad's house and I got... I was riding my bike back from, or part of the way I was pushing it, but I rode it once I was on, you know, not on such a steep hill, anyways. Taking my bike back from the gym, like, a couple miles away from my dad's house, and I was followed the whole way around every corner by this military helicopter, like a Black Hawk, you know, low altitude, just hovering over my head. And this guy just tailed me around every turn, right to my dad's house. And I get there, and I'm looking up, and this helicopter's just hovering up over me, and he's fucking staring at me. And I just sit on my dad's porch for a while, and this helicopter just stays sitting there right out front of my dad's house, just hovering there for a while. Until I went inside, and I think, I guess eventually he took off. But that was, that's another kind of, you know, thing that I've been through. I had, uh, I remember one time I... I posted uh, another time. This is back at my mom's house where I lived before, and it was back when I was living in a camper. Uh, there was this day when it rained. Uh, it was like blue skies and sunshine out this day, and um, this big, big plane. Uh, I don't know, like a cargo plane or something. Military flew over, and it was just letting out this big enormous like black cloud coming out the back of it you know like way beyond anything like chemtrails you know <laughs> huge black cloud and he just went zigzag back and forth through the sky and blacked out the entire sky almost almost made it like night or something with this black cloud he flew over and then a little while after that it rained and there was this yellow, uh, like, yellow powder in the rain, which I'd never seen before in my life, but I've seen numerous times since over the years. Uh, you know, uh, you get this, like, yellow powder on, on your car and on everything, and there's, like, yellow powdery substance in the water, in the put puddles and stuff like that. Uh... And now people say, oh, it's just pollen or something. But I've never seen that before in my life until that happened. <laughs> so you'd think I would have noticed that if it had existed before. Uh, all kinds of shit's different here since the things changed. Uh, like robin. I grew up in a place where there were robins, you know, birds. And uh, they all seem to change. Like they don't look. They barely look hardly anything like what they used to look like. They, now they have this like black, you know, ninja mask looking shit on their head a lot of the time, and they're different size basically than they used to be. A little smaller, seem like uh, different colors on them and stuff. And uh, you know, the types of insects I see around are different than you know. There's all kinds of insects that I did never seen before in my life that are around now. Um, just, I don't know, it sounds wacko talking about this stuff, but I gotta talk about, it, you know, I've had, I already talked about the UFO stuff, so I'm in another video, but I mean, I've seen UFOs a fair number of times, uh, I've seen shit like, you can look, you can go find all kinds of videos on YouTube where I don't know how people don't just know about this and acknowledge the reality of it in the first place when it's just right at, right in your face. People see like faces in the clouds and stuff and they think, oh, that cloud's just shaped funny. I'm just imagining things, you know. <laughs> I 
of literally like things walking around up in the fucking clouds here and stuff and people don't even notice. <laughs> There's, like, videos of things walking around up in the clouds and stuff. And, like, oh, just people don't even notice. It's, oh, it's just, oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, I've had, I have pictures of, uh, I'd have to go through the laptop. I might have some buried on my phone somewhere, too. Pictures of, like, faces appearing on the side of trees. I've seen shit, like, you wouldn't fucking believe, man. I've seen, I, I've ha I even have pictures of some, like, various things. Uh, <laughs> I'll have to go dig through my laptop or something for that stuff, but some of it might be on the phone. There's, uh, I don't know what the hell this place is. I know that I'm sick of it. I'd like to get out of here. Wish to hell there was somewhere better. Somewhere. Heck, almost anything would be better, you know? I mean, the world wouldn't be so bad. Like, as bad, maybe, if I was, like, a multi-millionaire and I could just go buy a... Buy some house in the country and mind my own business there and just... Try to avoid the outside world that's so crazy, but... I don't know if anyone here, like, there's, there's hardly anyone even on YouTube that's actually conscious, you know? I know there's some people out there. I really, it, it was Ryan Upchurch that put out a video the other day talking about a UFO, about seeing some UFO hanging with it and uh, it messing with the car and everything. He was saying, he talked about how Maybe we're like on the, some kind of TV show. We're just like a TV show for the aliens or something. It really feels like that, right? You get the sense that somebody's like watching you all the time. You know? And messing with your reality. Messing with your life. Just making it so you... You know, you can't do anything hardly that they don't want you to do. You can't go anywhere that they don't want you to go. I tried going to a, hell, I tried going to a carnival earlier this year, and I couldn't even, like, everything imaginable almost, I almost got hit by a train, walking on the tracks to get there, I had just everything got in the way, that prevented me from basically being able to go or have any fun at the carnival, I, uh, I tried to go to a concert at a, free concert at a park, and I couldn't get there, because there's like, I went there like over an hour early and there's no parking for miles and miles. They blocked off, like literally had a roadblock blocking like 90% of the parking. They said it was disabled parking. <laughs> like what? 90% of the parking lot is disabled parking? 99% <laughs> or something like that? It's crazy, you know? There used to be this whole, you know, huge area of parking back there and it's like it just disappeared. I, uh, and what was left was apparently all disabled parking. <sighs> the road was so screwed up it beat the heck out of my car trying to even get there. Big potholes and huge gaps between the road and the railroad tracks. Um... But I mean, that's kind of what it's like. I went to the beat. I went to the, to the coast because I wanted to see the ocean. I thought that would calm me down and I'd get into a nicer place and, and you know, maybe get out in nature and maybe be able to clear my head and feel a little better. And I get there and, like, the whole week I was there, it just sandstorms the whole freaking time. So you couldn't even hardly see the ocean at all. And um, most of the time I... I'd go to the beach, right, and there'd be, uh, from a distance, it would look like it's all blue skies and sunshine one minute, and then I'd get close to the beach, and all of a sudden, there's, like, sandstorm everywhere, and couldn't even hardly see the beach, and there's, like, sand blowing in my face, and looked all just, like, dark and cast over, 
even took some short videos, pictures of the sun. It's just like the sand is almost blocking, sandstorm almost blocking out the sun, you know? And what's weird is I drive, when I drove away from the beach, I'd get to a certain point, I'd look in the rear view mirror and all of a sudden it looked like it's blue skies and sunshine out and the sandstorm just disappeared. Once I got far enough away from it, <laughs> it was weird. You could see like blue skies and sunshine in the background in the rear view mirror. Like it just, like the whole sandstorm just disappeared once I got away from the beach. <laughs> like, the kind of shit that I deal with is, is so fucking next level. It's like, most people, I think, if they had to deal with one, 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 one millionth or something of the shit that I go through, they would have a fucking complete nervous breakdown or, you know, end up in a mental institution or they'd fucking hang themselves or something. Like... I, uh, I'm always getting deja vu, but it's not, it's like so far beyond deja vu, you know, it's not like deja vu, it's like I'm, like I'm seeing something happen that I've already been through before, it's almost like, uh, it's like if you watch a movie you've seen a hundred times before. <laughs> you know what the person's going to say next and what's going to happen in it, you know? I had a number of situations like that. Anyways, I guess I'll cut the video off here. i got to go use the bathroom. Alright, talk to you later. Bye.